channel. Today I thought I would show you um, what is in their book bags. Uh, we use book bags quite frequently. Um, we take them out when we do school in the park. We take them when we go to the library to do school. Um, and so I was just I just thought it would be good to show you what we put inside of their book bags. Um, I have them all packed and ready to go. Of course they add their special little bits along the way but for now these are just the basics and I thought I would share with you. So first up I have Cameron's book bag. Um, they pretty much have the same things, the same basic essentials inside of their bags with the exception of a couple of things and I guess I'll just show you that. So uh, I showed you this in our back to school haul. We got a nice, a big sturdy bag. Um, I got all of the book bags from Target. I really like them. They have a lot of um, little pockets and a lot of padding. So I'm expecting them to last us for a couple of years, which is nice. Um, this book bag is Cameron's. Um, it's got a pocket in the front. It's got pocket on the sides. It's got a cute little pocket on the top. I just love it. Uh, let's see. So inside of his bag, he's got a space right here. I didn't even notice that there was a little pocket here, but that's really nice. Um, it's nice to have these extra little um, spaces because they like to pack their book bags with toys <laughs> and Lego creations and things like that. And it's always the worst to have them just kind of hanging out at the bottom of the book bag. So if there's an actual place for them, then I can try and teach them that there is a spot for their things. And hopefully they will kind of follow suit. In this back pocket here, I just have their his iPad. It's a great space for it too because it's padded back there and it keeps it nice and snug. So his iPad is in that spot. Next, I have their art book. Basically everything on my homeschool must-haves video is inside of this book bag. So um, I have their art book. This is a brand new art book so we've just got a little bit of stuff going on right now. But his art book is inside of here. Then I've got a pouch here. This is his art pouch. So inside of the art pouch, let me put this down. Inside of the art pouch they have their watercolor palette. And then also um, brushes. So um, I also, I need to get like a little uh, travel size container that has water in it um, so that I can, you know, because you need water for watercolor. I, I know that they also have the brushes that have the water at the end of them and I think I may pick those up too. But for now we just have brushes and I'll just include a little um, plastic container with water in it. So along the way, if there are other art supplies that they want to add to this, they can, but this is just their art supply pouch. And you guys already know that my kids are pretty much color coded. Every now and then, I can't find the right color to fit them, but, um, but still we have a secondary color as well. But Cameron is blue, so most of his things are blue, and that's how we know who they belong to. And the next thing I have in their book bag is their binder. Um, inside of their binder I kept it really basic last year I did a lot with their binders and um, it was a little too much we didn't use it we didn't use it as much as I thought we were gonna use it so this time around I just kept it pretty simple it's just a spot to hold things um, so inside of our binder they just have another little pencil pouch but instead of it being for art supplies this time around it's for pencils <laughs> so they have their pencils in here they have their passport in here I think there are a pair of scissors the passport is in there. It's not a real passport. It's a <laughs> it's a fake passport um, for geography. Then they have a pair of scissors, and then they have about six or seven um, crayons. Yeah. So he has a little pencil pouch, and then we have some little storybook paper. I call it storybook paper uh, because it's great for them to have a spot to draw up at the top and then write at the bottom. I don't know what it's really called, but that's what we're gonna call it right now. So I have a stack of that and then I have two folders behind it so that whatever, um, you know, just to store different uh, different work that they do if they're doing like math worksheets or anything like that. So that's basically what I have inside of his binder. That's what's in the front pouch. On the side here, I just have their water bottle. I really like this water bottle. I know it's dirty, so... Um, Hopefully you can't see that, but I got this water bottle from Target and I really like this one because it has a, um, a wide mouth, really, really easy to clean, which is great. 
and um, it's really easy for them to have their smoothies in here. So we do smoothies in the morning and then we fill it up with water for the rest of the day to make sure that they're getting enough water. And that just goes in the side. And then in this pocket here, the front pockets, I was going to try and show them that this is for all of their toys here. So, so hopefully all of their toys and random bits land itself in this pocket here. Amongst that, they just have this little index card holder. And again, it's blue because Cameron's color is blue. He just has blank index cards right now. But the goal for this is to hold all of their sight and spelling words and then move on to Kendall's bag. So this is pretty much going to be kind of repetitive. So I'm sorry if you don't want to see this part. You can just go to the end where I show you what's in Savannah's in the front pocket here. I'll just start a little backwards. Same thing. So he's got his vocabulary cards, index cards, spelling words are in this pocket here. I think I don't have his water bottle, but his water bottle is gray because we could not find green, which is his color. So normally it's either um, his secondary color is red, and if we can't find that, we stick with gray. So his water bottle normally goes right here, and it is gray. Inside here, same deal. So this back pocket is padded, and it has space for his iPad. His art book. Same deal. It's a fresh art book so we don't have too much in it right now but that's his art book. His pouch which is green because this is his color. Um, same deal. He's got his watercolor and brushes in there as well. He's got his um, binder inside here. It's his little passport, his pencils, crayons, um, scissors, paper, two folders oh i forgot to show on the front they have a little hand sanitizer which is so necessary then we have savannah's bag savannah has a cute little kitty cat bag i love it she didn't love it so much but she learned to love it because <laughs> it was the perfect size and it had pockets which i need for her because she definitely likes to pack her book bag full of stuff when we go places on the outside of her she has a little cute little corn coin purse and then she has her sanitizer as well as her um, smoothie slash water bottle in her inside pouch same deal her secondary color is purple her first color of course is pink so in here i think i do have some i think i do have some ready made in here yeah so in here are her sight words her sight words are all in here to make sure that we get our practice in even when we are out the side words, I have them um, on a special place on their iPad as well, but I do have the physical form because sometimes we just need to switch it up. So inside her book bag is slightly different from the boys because she does not have an iPad yet. So what she has in her back pocket instead of the iPad is um, this word building board that I got from Target. And then she's got her letters and numbers in here for her magnetic board so that's what she has she does not have an art pouch um i figured if she wanted to use any of the supplies that the boys have she could just share what they have we'll see how that works it may not work <laughs> but um it should work her binder same deal she has a pouch here and it has scissors hers has glue because she does a lot of um cutting and pasting so it's kind of her thing lately and she's got pencils, her passport, some crayons in there, paper, and two cute folders, super cute folders. I got these a couple years ago. So she's just using the same ones. A little hard one in pink. Oh, and then she's also got um, some of her work that's here. And then um, a little pink and gold stripe one here, super cute. Then along with her binder, um, instead of an art book, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, she may actually want her art book. But um, like I said, she's super into cutting and pasting and things like that. So instead of having an art book for her, because with her art book, she's been cutting all of the pieces of the pages, which is driving me crazy. <laughs> so instead of that, um, I just put in her trace, copy, color, cut activity book. So that she can trace, color, copy, and cut whatever she'd like in here. 
So that is in her book bag. So that is pretty much it. That is what is in their book bags. Yeah, hopefully you like this video. Maybe it was somewhat helpful. I'm not sure. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already and you'd like to get more videos from us. And I will see you in our next video.